Hey everybody, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. So I got the uh, second tube rolled and this one fought me <laughs> a lot more than the uh, first one did. Being it's so long as it started to uh, create the arc it wanted to kind of lean and so next thing you know I had like a a, uh, a wet noodle I was dealing with so I had to kind of fight it but we got it it ain't perfect the other one came out really nice the first one did it's kind of ironic you think it'd be the other way around you mess up the first one until you figure out what you're doing and you get the second one right but oh well it is what it is so I've got the expanded steel down on the bottom don't know if you can see got a circle traced out so um, I'm going to slide this out and get it supported and, um, and the quickest way to do it I'm just going to fire out the plasma cutter and just psh, and uh, we'll zap out a circle so hang tight going live get uh, repositioned and get the other half cut out. finish that back part and I'll bring you back so this may be a little bit of an overkill but uh, I picked up some I guess small squared screen so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut the circle out and it's gonna go in between uh, the round tube that we uh, rolled out and uh, this expanded steel that way I catch any of the small embers because I was worried about the the holes here in this expanded steel, this is as small as I could get, was the uh, half inch diamonds. So uh, this should hopefully catch any little small flyers. So let me just uh, get this thing trimmed out. And once we do that, I've got a little piece of, I don't know if it's in the picture or not, a piece of uh, square over there. And then I'll just run a, a brace up underneath it that'll keep it from sagging. And we can tack all this up 
and the top part will be done. Figured I'd give you guys an update. So I got the uh, fine mesh cut out and right now I've got it sandwiched in between the uh, expanded steel. Just ran a small, what is that, half by half square piece of tubing across once for a little more stabilization and two keeping anything from trying to sag because obviously this is going to be flipped the other way you're looking at the bottom so now i'm going to flip her over and just kind of tack her all up so i just figured i'd give you guys an update got it all tacked down it ain't going anywhere so now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and get the uh, four and a quarter angle grinder and i'm just going to go all around the edge and knock all this uh overhang off because you know that wants to that wants to cut you so that's the plan of attack so i got you over here at the uh, mill i am just notching the legs that are going to connect the lower metal circle to the upper metal circle so what i've got i got six inches here and we're just notching them so that way so weld right on up so figured i'd do one on camera it's a one inch annual cutter for this one inch tube so cover your ears all to it I'm gonna finish the uh, this one here and then turn them around and do the other side and uh, I'll bring you guys back once I'm done cutting them and deburring them and we'll get over to the welding table and we'll uh, weld them up so the legs are all done deburred Got nice shiny surfaces to weld on, so now I'm just going to uh, get them square at uh, every uh, quarter distance and uh, tack them up, and then we'll put the top on and get everything welded up. So uh, let me get the welder going here. Hang on. Actually, I got to turn you guys off because I got to change power cords. So it is a welded up. I figured I'd bring you guys up to speed. And uh, if you notice she ain't perfect because the uh, two metal circles aren't perfect. I found that out as I was trying to tack everything together and keep it square that uh, being square was not going to work. So I had to kind of go with the flow because this circle is a tad bit uh, smaller than this circle and it's uh, tad bit egg shaped so uh, I had to adjust and adapt and overcome but uh, there she is uh, I don't think you'll be really be able to notice it when you're sitting there on the top so I am pleased that we've gotten this far so now the next thing to do is uh, I'm going to fill in the sides try to do it a little bit decorative I'm going to do a little bit of extend, uh, expanded steel and then a piece of that 16 gauge and I'm going to cut some designs in it and then repeat and go all the way around for uh, probably like uh, you know four different sections. So that is the plan now. So I hope you guys have started to see the uh, visualization as this thing comes together and hopefully it will work. I think there should be plenty of airflow and... Um, with the uh, smaller screen under the bigger screen, that should catch any of the uh, small embers that try to escape. So uh, that's the update, guys. Nothing fancy there, just uh, basic welding. So um, 
let me get uh, figuring out these sides and I'll give you updates. Not sure how close I can get you in here, but this is what I'm doing. I just plasma cut a piece of expanded steel out and I'm gonna do these sections around. So let's get this one tapped in. Okay, so you get the idea. So let me uh, do the other three. So I figured I'd give you uh, a look at what we got going on so far. I am a handheld to be a little bit shaky. And hey, pumpkin. She wants to say hello to everybody. Say hey, pumpkin. <laughs> She's a chow mix rescue. So anyways, here is the cover coming out pretty nice so far hey so what we got to do now is fill in these gaps with that 16 gauge and do some sort of I don't know cool looking scenery using the uh, plasma torch to cut it out and just repeat it in four different sections not sure what I want to do yet if I could do like I don't know a Sun and a moon and maybe star or something or I could draw some cool like flames or something that would look pretty neat but anyways you got a tad bit of rock tour but I uh, think it'll be fine for this project and uh, just figure I'd give you guys a little bit of an update because I got all this stuff welded up last night and it was late so I didn't feel like uh, filming it oh. <laughs> she's wanting all this loving all of a sudden right now and anyways, there's the grate. You see it fit fine after I trimmed it. So that'll work out good. Okay guys, going to handheld. Maybe a little bit shaky. But now it is time to uh, make these side panels. And trying to come up with a decent design. So this is kind of what i come up with. Let me throw some light on there. Let's see if this will help. So that center design is supposed to be like fire. And uh, these over here are just, just kind of some slots. I was trying to uh, come up with something good. So um, put something basic because I've got a plasma and if it doesn't come out perfect, then it's gonna look funny and everybody's gonna wonder like, what the heck is that? So um, instead of trying to do like star and a moon or a sun or a bear or a pine tree or something i'm just do it real simple so we'll just knock out four of these so let me get the plasma cutter set up and buzz one out and then hold it up against it and show you what i'm talking about and um you guys can uh figure it out so i got it all cut out not sure how well that looks Trying to set it up with a light behind it, backlight it. That's how the panel will look. So I am going to uh, do three more of these and then kind of bend them to that circumference and get them welded on. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. 
I'm no artist. <laughs> so I'm getting wrapped up. I'll give you a, a little bit of plasma action here. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. And don't mind my big head. Let's get this fire image cut out. What do you say here? So we do a free handed. Right, who needs a plasma cam, right? <laughs> Let me get these other slots cut out. So hopefully you can see it's pretty good. I am now getting the panels that we plasma cut out welded up. They're cooperating somewhat. Um, obviously, I'm fighting different circle diameters, so it's not coming out perfect, but it's just a cover for a fire pit so it should work out okay and see if we get some uh, welding shots here i'm just kind of putting the spot here putting the spot there holding it on If you can see that we're going to have to do a little bit of trimming with the angle grinder but anyways that's how it goes let me get you guys repositioned a little bit Better. All right, well, you guys get the idea. I'll uh, finish up and I'll bring you back. So now what I got to do is I got to make some handles. So I just got some rebar here that had in the scrap pile and we're going to uh, take the torch, heat it up and uh, bender and then we'll get it welded on and we'll be uh, close to done. Rolling water right along guys. Hopefully this won't take too long.
Man, she's gonna be hot. Let me get the pliers. that guys let's get it this way so I can bend her All that way and let's see only about six inches but I think that'll be well let me get the bend in there too so let's go out a little bit longer That should work. We should be good. looks good i'll go make another one off camera and then we'll get it welded up uh, welding up the uh, last handle Well, that ain't going anywhere. Let's uh, get some color on her now that uh, the fabrication is done. Well, uh, there you go, guys. One fire pit cover. I think it came out uh, pretty nice. It ain't perfect, but it was my um, first attempt at rolling tube. So I learned a couple pointers. I've rolled... Uh, plenty of roll cage tubing but it's a little bit different using that kind of bender versus this tube roller but uh, anyways this should uh, keep the sparks and embers from escaping and uh, hopefully next day or two we can uh, fire this thing up it's getting kind of cool fall is here so I'm not sure when you're gonna watch this video hi <laughs> got a new movie star here so uh, anyways guys I appreciate you following along with the project and i uh, appreciate all my new subscribers and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button we are growing and i thank each and every one of you guys and um with that uh, we got more up and coming projects so follow along and uh of course you want to get in the picture don't you say hi everybody this is pumpkin <laughs> but uh anyways guys um that's gonna be a wrap so we'll see you guys later. Take care.